All right, and here we are for some more Kubera. At the dawn of a new set, a new arc, new titled set of chapters. New arc is probably the best way to put it. Let us delve right into it. With the image of Godhava. Godhava tribe. Oh, oh heavens above. <clears throat> Godhava tribe. Nastika, Godhava. King. The king of the Godhava tribe. One of the eight tribes of Sura. According to a list made by the gods, Gadhava is ranked fifth among Nastika after Ananta, Vritra, Yaksa, and Asura. However, now that Ananta and Yaksha have been eliminated, Gadhava is third, following Vritra and Asura. Who I assume v Vritra is number one because he's the dragon. Yeah, okay, and then it's Asura. He's most often sighted in a planet-sized form, but is sometimes reported to be city-sized or even smaller. Lies recorded appearance when he was actually was when he actually swallowed a red giant star. However, the only witness was Agni, and Agni died during the incident, so his information cannot be relied upon. As we've seen, yeah, death does affect your memories, as we saw when Brilith was dying. Interesting. Godhava's only spouse is Manaka, excluding the propagation period at the beginning of the universe when he was breeding to expand his forces. A daughter was born between them. But she is weak to the point where her name is not even worth being remembered. The information above is a record of the god of water, Varuna, in the Misty Shore Temple in D920. The image is a reconstruction based on Varuna's sightings of Gadhar in year D1, near the planet Gresvan. 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 The collapsed planet, right? Yes, that's probably one of the planets that's been attacked in revenge by the Suras before there was the closed space, due to the human's abandonment of the Sura and making a vow to only believe in gods. A vow to only- no, 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 I've already read that. The planet was eliminated more than a thousand years ago. Hmm. Retaliation. Then it makes sense that he hates humans. Of course, all Sura hate humans. And the same goes for humans hating Sura. We don't have to talk about thousand year old incidents to know that. Well, that's true. So... What is he planning? Looking back on the attack on Aterra last time, we can say it's almost certain that there are a bunch of high-class Suras somewhere, and it would make sense that at least one of them is in this Tika. Oh, there's more than one. There's at least two. But for what reason? Would he be staying here acting as a human with amnesia? Plus, he can even dodge my attack and seem too weak to be in this Tika. Ah. Tio, by the way, it seems that there are more people than we were expected who are willing to go for the solar return. Since it would be difficult to handle all of them only with staff members, how about raising the level of the test? Yes, that is why. That is the reason. Since he needed to pass the test in order to reach the sword, he, he was using me to get to the sword. Oh gosh, how could I not notice that? How could I not notice it earlier? Using that guy to clean the temple was no different than to set the fox to keep the geese. Uh, Tio? I have no time for this. I have to get him out of here right away. About the sword test. Uh, make all the events same as last year, but just raise the cutoff score by a little. I'll set the cutoff score when I return. So just arrange the content of the test. Why is he acting like that all of a sudden? Season 2, Chapter 27, Reflection. One. Please, want to come with me to go buy some clothes? You've only been wearing slippers since you've got no shoes. You can just buy any. You can just buy anything for me, Ron. You should come with me, since there should be lots of fine clothes. Since this is a large city, I'm exhausted. I use up a lot of my vigor when the transcendental transcendental didn't even work. Yeah. All right then. I'll just get you anything. Well, I can get you. Well, I can get your shoe size from this one, but about the clothes size, I'll just get something that's loose. But how come Asha and Utah aren't showing up at all? They really fit well with each other. I first ri thought Lee's and Utah were the ones, were the close ones, while Asha wasn't. But nowadays, it seems that Asha and Utah have some kind of secret between them. Lee seems to always be left out, knowing nothing. 
Moreover, Asha always scolds Lee's. I feel bad watching her. She had such a hard life for a young age. I should buy her a lot of clothes. I thought you had things to do in the temple. Is it fine for a priestess to leave the temple like this? In her casual clothes? It's fine. The important things are mostly done. The rest can be managed by the others. Why? You, mu you want something in the temple? Shall we return to the temple? No, not really. Did I guess wrong? Is he not after the Sword of Return? Then, why would he... Well, he wouldn't be aiming to kill the priestess. No. He would have attacked me already, if so. I really have no clue. Is he actually just a normal human? Meaning what I saw at the lake was just an illusion? Maybe that's it. He looks too weak to be an Astika. Uh, Teo. Yes? I'd like to go out and stay out for a night. I have a few things to think about. Uh, outside? But where are you going to sleep? Ah, I'm just going for a walk. I don't really sleep that much anyway. So staying up for a night would be fine. Is it too much to ask? Should I not do that since I owe you money? Tia's really pretty. <coughs> um, uh, um, moving on. N no, it, it's fine. You can go out tonight. What's his plan? Should I tail him? I'm sorry, it looks like we talked for a long time. But there wasn't much that I could re reveal to you. So that whole story w became a bit absurd. No, I understood most of it. How? Asha, I am a Rakshasa. There are things I've seen and heard throughout my life, so I can assure you the part which you couldn't say. I can assume the parts which you wouldn't say. Yes, that's right. Maybe I forgot that for a while because you made us feel so comfortable. I, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. No, I don't feel uncomfortable. In fact, I feel so comfortable now that I feel pathetic that I was suspicious of you once before. Yuta, I want victory. And that's what I live for. But now, why am I taking a harder path? when there is a much easier path to proceed on. I can just leave her. If I did, it'd be much easier to see victory. It's pathetic. I was doing well until now, but things have gone wrong in the last few months. Why? Of all. Why is Lee's? You can't talk again? Gosh, never mind. This is enough. I do feel a lot better than I have, that I, na, a lot better that I have talked with you. Thank you for listening, Yuta. So, now you aren't going to get all angry and at Ron and Lee's, right? I feel bad every time I watch you act that way. They don't know anything, do they? If this keeps going on, they'll keep distance between you and them. Wait, Yuta, look, the flower pot. Was it? Was it like that before? Uh, it feels so stuffy. I don't think I've eaten that much. One of my clothes feel tight. What? Has she gotten bigger? Like, physically, in like, all of her size. Not just... Look, that was a bad time to, to phrase it like that. Ah, oh, jeez. A faulty product? Why did this fa just fall off? That's just going to nag again. Anyway, I should change into something else before Ron comes back. And her hair straight as well. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh god, what is going on? I've just realized I need to figure out what video, I'm, what I'm recording for Wednesday's video. Not that that'll be relevant by the time you're seeing this, because this will go up on Friday, so you'll if you watch all my videos, you'll already know what went up on Wednesday. But, uh, shit. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll figure that out after I record this. Probably two, uh, another episode after this one. I'm afraid that you've just missed her. Tia's already gone down to the city. Ah, well, things kind of always go as planned, I guess. While there are times that you get to meet someone, the other times, you can just be unlucky like this. 
That's the way it is for everyone. Unless you're a god who foresees the future. But it's unlikely that Tia would return anytime soon. Wouldn't it be better for you to go back to the Temple of Earth than to just wait here? No, I'd rather wait here. Is there any reason that I should not? N no, there's no problem, but... Then I'm taking that as a yes. You look as if you're in a very good mood. Ah, did it show too much? It's nothing much, but there is something that I think will turn out well. Let's just say that I want to see the iron wall collapsing. I assure you that before the sunrise tomorrow morning, there'll be a magician with a pallid face looking for me. Howsoever great that magician, the magician may be, there's no way but to come and beg for my help on this subject. Oh god, I'm so looking forward to where this is going. Season 2, Chapter 28, Reflection 2. Please, I got clothes for you. I didn't know your preference, so I just got a bunch of them. Come out and check them. Huh? Thank you. I'll go down after I wear them. What's wrong? She usually opens the door like yawning with her hair all messed up. Is she all of a sudden beginning to adore her adorn herself? I think she was making a voice sound mature as well. It can't be like she started to see me as a man or anything. Right? I hope that's not it. Chicky can never be my type. She's like more than a billion light years away from my preferences. Okay, let's say it takes roughly two weeks to get back the hide of bondage back from my brother. Lee's and the rest has business to deal with in the Temple of Chaos and its date on this and its opening on this date. Should I accompany them rather than be bored all alone here? Am I curious about the test for the I am curious about the test for the sword after all. Run, it seems that this cap belongs to you. Can I borrow it? Huh? A cap? Did I give you that as well? Yeah, take it if you like. Ah! Fucking hot! <laughs> uh, double on, double meaning, huh? So, you woke up to find yourself changed like this? Yeah, even the button on my pajamas fell off. And then there's only one thing that might explain this. In fact, it's gotta be that. You said you met Claude this morning, right? Did you hear a spell called Hotiyama from him? That's right, but it had no effect on me. That's not true, because that spell has its effects 12 hours after it's used. Just like you, now. Ah. And this is not all that happens. With more time flowed, from the moment you've changed. It's better to just keep this part for myself. Anyhow, when Asha returns, we have to go to Claude and ask him to take the spell off you before the sun rises. When Asha finds out what happened, she'll do anything to bring you to the temple right away. When the spell is gone, do I go back to my original appearance? Of course. Hey, don't be so disappointed. Your, your original appearance looks better for your age. Well, but I've grown so tall and look so much different than before that you can't call me Chicky now. I won't call you Chicky anymore, so listen to me. I want to go out where it's crowded before I go back to myself, and I think it'd be better for you to just stay in the inn. What if something happens to you while you're outside? Uh, no need to worry about my safety for going out at night. I'm not scared of any molesters at all. No, I'm not talking about that. After a certain amount of time, you'll... Hey, Lees! Lees! Man, look at that girl! She has such a nice body! Isn't she a little too tall? Who cares about that when she's got such a nice figure? She looked pretty as well. Even though I couldn't see well because of that cap. <laughs> Everyone's watching me. So this is how an pretty person would live like. This is so nice. But there's one thing that gets in my mind. 
How is this magic suited for murder? Time accelerates, and you age, and die, is how I see how it'll be. Who cares? I'll run around the street just a little longer and go back. Ron did say before the sunrise, so there's a good deal of time left. Even counting the time it takes to go up to the temple. Wow, things look amazing at night. It seems more halves are out than in the daytime as well. Is it that there aren't they aren't coming out in the daytime because of the people who don't like halves, like Ran? I feel like there should be a bit more punctuation there. This is a good chance. I should take this as a chance to make a half friend. Do you think an apology will solve everything? We should make some kind of compensation with money. I don't have any money with me now. Bullshit! Why would anyone come to the shopping area at night with no money? Wait a sec. What's with your eye? Ah, uh, are you a half? Bring me a sponsor. But I'm not a half. If you're not a half, then what? An Aztec or something? Or just a one-eyed retard? I'm his sponsor. What's the problem? Okay, she looks really cool. It seems to be nothing serious. How about being a man and going a round of arm wrestling with me? I'll give you a hundred gold if you win, but if you lo you lose, just let's leave in peace. How about that? And Lee's and Gadhava reunite. Oh, okay, this could get interesting. This could get interesting. I. Oh boy. But I'm wondering where things are going to go from here. Like, story-wise. Like, because I've seen a panel, and uh, it interests me, to say the least. Also, there's one thing I want to say. Um, if the audio is too loud, let me know. I can adjust that. But, um, yeah, I've been messing with some settings. So, just let me know if the audio is too loud in the comments. I should have said this earlier, and also earlier in the week as well, because by the time this goes up, I'll have already recorded next week's videos. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm waffling on, but you know what I mean. Tell me if the audio is too loud. Oh, I'm wrestling. The darling, what a daring suggestion for such a pretty lady. It's definitely that she's going to use magic. Seeing her be betting 100 gold with such boldness. Sure, I accept the deal. But let's play fair without using any magic. Wow, what a thankful offer. It didn't even last three seconds. Is it possible for a woman to be stronger without using any magic? She's got to be a quarter. But the guy's also a quarter. He's a fighter who participated in the fighting championship tournament. Whether their pure bloods are quarters, there are a number of women who are stronger than men. Don't you remember uh, Teo and Andre at the tournament? But a female fighter who's that strong has to be quite famous. But I don't think I've seen that girl before. Yeah, me neither. Never seen such a female fighter before. Okay, as we as we promised, we'll be leaving now. Bye. What's keeping you? Let's go. I said I'm your sponsor, remember? Come with me until where people can no longer see us. Uh um sure, but no need to hold my hand like that. The guy's being dragged. He looks so weak for a half. And there's Teo. I was about to step in and help. Who is she? So maybe we've not heard of a fighter like her. Season 2, Chapter 29. Reflection for 3. Uh. There was nothing wrong with the planet a while ago, but it was just withered a plant a while ago, but it just withered as we were talking. Nothing can describe this anomaly but the effects of a Hotiyama spell. The spell is activated after 12 hours term from its execution. And 12 hours before the moment the plant withered, would be when Lee's met Claude this morning. Nothing serious to be concerned about. He must have used the magic with the plant in his range just to explain the magic. He wouldn't be so stupid to use such a spell when he would be when he will be pointed as the suspect for sure. Uh Ron Syrof, what are you doing out here? Ah, uh, You sir, catch this thing. Lee's went outside. I, I tried follow, but 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 half. 
<laughs> Please kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm sorry. So you're saying Lee's went outside, but you couldn't follow her since you were scared of the halves around the inn. Am I right? I understand. You should go back to the inn, Ron Syro. There are many halves at this hour, so you won't be of any help. Uh, but, but Lee's... Uh, Hoti Yama... She ch changed. She looks around your age. I uh, Ron Syro. Didn't you learn anything at Magic University? Do not mention on how old she looked. Whom you saw was not Lee's, but just another person. Do you understand? Uh, I get it. I forgot the warnings for a while since this was the first time I ever saw this. How much did you explain to her about the spell's effects? Nothing significant. Only the part that it must be turned off before sunset. That's a relief. Thank you for that part, Ron Syrov. Since it's a spell with an issue that is banned is banned to be used in any case od cases other than capital punishment, the effects of the spell should be kept in secret at all means. For Lee's is too young. Poor little tricky. Anyhow, that Claude guy, that guy Claude. I never he thought never thought he'd be a guy to do such a thing. It's unbelievable. Ron Syrof, you go back inside and wait. Yuta, come with me. We've got to find Lee's right now. Whether to abandon or keep that the card is my decision. Don't you dare meddle in my affairs. Phew! I see no more people here. Shall we go on our own ways now? Thank you. I promise I will pay you back for this. Can you tell me your name? Ah, my name is... Wait, my appearance has totally changed. Is it going to be a problem if we use the same name? I should borrow the, just borrow the rich woman's name for now. Reesh. That's my name. I see. Miss Reesh. Your name and warmness is as beautiful as your looks. Ah, uh, th thank you. By the way, Miss Reesh. Haven't we met before? Huh? Th that can't be. This is my first time looking. Like, n no. I mean, I don't remember meeting you. It seems like Lee's has gone somewhere else with a half. It could be no one else but Lee's if she had curly blue-green hair with a voluptuous body and such power. Do you think we can easily find her? Well, they said she went to the place that isn't very crowded, so it's most likely that she acted as if she was the half-sponsor and planned to part with the half where people are not around. With little people around, you won't have much trouble feeling, trouble feeling where Lee's is, Yuta. Even in the worst case scenario of not binding her, she'll come back to the inn anyway, since she's got common sense. Didn't you say there's a time limit? Right. We need to hurry. Lee's met Claude in the morning, so before some rays at least. Lee's has to be taken to Claude to get the spell off her. I was running about this for a while. I've never heard of that spell, Hotiyama, before. Along with that, I've never seen a magician who uses it. I know Yama means god of death, but what is the actual effect of Hotiyama? It's no surprise if you've never seen it before, because that spell has no effect on Sura. Hotiyama is a spell that erases out the rest of a person's lifespan only with only 12 hours left. The effects can be visually witnessed. Can, vis can be visually be witnessed. Interesting. After 12 hours since it's been cast and after another 12 hours, the victim's lifespan is drained, and their heart stops. It only works on humans, not Sirahs, because it's literally a lifespan drainage. You Sirahs do not die or have the concept of aging to death, so it doesn't affect you. Hang on. If it's 12 hours left till they dry death, shouldn't these look like Grandma? But Ran said Lee's seemed to be somewhere around your age, Asha. Yes, that's right. He definitely said that, but Yuta... Humans are born with different lifespans. So it's not always the case of dying from old age. Even if someone survives by avoiding all risky elements, when once destined time comes, the heart stops being. And no one but the god of death himself can stop people from dying like that. Not me. Not you. Not even a primeval god or an Aztec can save Lee's from it.
is that set up for the end of the series? Oh god. Oh. Oh god. Right. Well, we'll leave it there for this week. Um, that's a somber note to leave it on. But anyway, I've been Animosity. You've been you. Perhaps consider subscribing, tell me your thoughts in the comments, leaving a like, all of that stuff. Ta-ta. For now.